Hey y'all come look at this. Gibby, Gibby, Gibby. I pull up and I and I say what's up Goblin Nation, it's Jibrian, welcome back to the Goblin Show. Thanks for stopping by, and man, do we have another good video for you guys today. Let's get started by going over the big news drops in the Relsies Discord. They've actually been pretty busy sharing new info, which is a nice change from the usual three weeks with no new sneaks. Before we get into the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, because I know this isn't your first time watching one of my videos, and if you don't subscribe, I'm going to get so angry! Oh, and if you're still looking for a crew for Relsies, join the Discord below. We're always looking for new crew members. If you're an ally, you should probably join later since we're going to be doing a lot of cleanup this weekend, so there's that. The first thing we should look at is the cool little bar interaction they have here. It's kind of cool the way, it, like, if you look at them in order, it tells a story. Like, you can see here, for example, the chick completely says something out of pocket. I don't know what she has to be mad about. She's the one being racist. And then it kind of ends with him being like knocked into the air as a, a little cinematic shot here. You know, first thing I'm doing is putting a bounty on this chick. Me and my crew don't support this racism. I like how they made a root beer so that way, you know, people will stop asking about adding alcohol. <laughs> you know, they even mentioned here Roblox has it so it has to be root beer. So that's what they went with. Actually, speaking of bar fights, they show this really cool boss fight that gets triggered when he's in the bar. You can see his health's already missing a bit, so maybe he started it by attacking. It's kind of hard to tell how much of this is scripted, like did he place the boss there perfectly to kick him out, or is that where the boss is going to be in the game, you know? Like are there other bosses that are waiting in bars that have like, you know, entrances like that? If there are similar, uh, you know, types of events in other bars, or this is just like a regular occurrence, it really helps to make the world feel alive, because it kind of feels like you're triggering events, you know? I mean, how many shows have you seen where someone walks into a bar gets a drink and then like some big bully to walks up and picks a fight like this is classic tv show tropes and i think that's what makes the game seem fun is it kind of feels like you're playing out your own story so this kind of thing really makes you feel like the main character i think these are the best kind of real season news because they're they're just trying to show off a boss fight but you really get more than that you know what i mean like it really shows you how they're doing world building also if you were paying attention in the back you can see in the back right the three transformation they've shown already uh they've shown a couple more but right there you have the one for the lightning fruit uh buddha and then the one for the revive fruit now it's actually a bit more obvious but if you look in the back during this fight you can see something else now what could that be now obviously that's a submarine and they must have realized it was obvious to us so they released a bit a better look at submarines man submarines look so cool honestly i can't wait to get my hands on one this little walkthrough they do is also really cool because you can see how spacious it is you can have like your whole crew in here especially the table you know this does leave me with some serious questions though because it, you could see in the beginning there was like a cannon thing on the top uh but there's no like co-pilot seat so i guess the person driving the submarine also gets to shoot it honestly i'd prefer it if the passengers had more of a role and they weren't just kind of stuck there you know in your ship but maybe there's a chance that with customization you'll be able to add turret seats and in case you're wondering if there is customization I believe I kind of found evidence. Now obviously with most things we'll see this is a little bit of speculation so I could be wrong. But if you look at the submarine in the back you can see the two little fins. However when he's in the pilot seat and looks at the front you can see he's missing the same fins. So either this is part of the design process and maybe they haven't finalized it or you can add attachments similar to the way you can do ships. And I'm kind of leaning towards the second that you can customize submarines which would be awesome. Let me know what you guys think. Next they went on to show off a little mini boss fight which is kind of interesting. There's a couple things here i'm really curious about like when he does this move what is this my question is is this a move for the weapon because he kind of lands on it like like it's for the boss you know like when you uh in some of these games when you break the like the stance of the enemy you can do a special attack but he's using his weapon so it's kind of weird you know what i mean it looks like he's doing a finisher because he's kicking it in the head and then landing on it and stabbing it but that just seems really weird to me because you know what i mean like what are they, they adding one of these for every type of enemy in the game? That would be impossible. My only theory would be that bosses have unique finishers and he's just using a weapon that looks also similar to the knife that he uses. <laughs> now I'm definitely spending way too much time on this, but does that knife look the same as the one he's fighting with in this scene here? I'm actually so stumped on how they got a unique animation here and also like, are they going to do it for more enemies, you know? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I think I'm gonna go ahead and say maybe knives have a unique form of like critting to like make them feel more balanced compared to heavier weapons. Oh, and then they also showed some footage of him walking around the ship. You can see multiple people inside, so obviously, obviously you can get your crewmates inside, but more importantly, when he gets to the front of the ship, he sees a megalodon far in the distance, which is really creepy. I swear this game is gonna give people nightmares, especially like this image here of the shark right at the window. 
Okay, if you look here, you can see he has a calculator app open, which definitely means he is <laughs> doing some math research in order to make the game better. And if you look over here, you'll see that it's actually 81 degrees and cloudy. This means he's approximately in Pennsylvania right now. I have proof. I have evidence. Finally, we got that out of the way. Now let's get into the suggestion part of the video, since I know some of you guys are really looking forward to this. So the first suggestion here has a lot of little ideas about money. For example, uh, they want you to not have a money cap. I don't know if that'd be possible because of the way the games are. Usually there is a limit for a reason. But uh, in this one, he says you'd get reduced money instead as you go on. So you'd be slower and slower to earn money, which does kind of make sense. And it would be cool, like he suggests here, to be able to craft an item just to flex how much money you have. I don't know who would get that much money or you know how easy it would be but kind of interesting and here we have a truly controversial take now this one is that he doesn't want more sneaks he's not saying to rush the game he's saying that they should stop giving us info about the game so that way it's still a surprise when the game comes out and i can totally see his argument here as a content creator i'm kind of biased you know like i want the sneak so i can talk about them you know it's content but i can kind of see his point i don't know let me know what you guys think and here's a longer suggestion I'll summarize for you guys. Basically, he has a bunch of ideas for how you would be able to train your types of hockey similar to the way Luffy did. For example, a gorilla would train you an armament by forcing you to block. A crocodile would uh, train you an observation, so you'd be like on a log, you know, trying to avoid falling into the water. And conquerors, depending on if you have it, would be like you trying to avoid a leopard. And maybe it attacks you if you don't have conquerors, or, or I guess if you fail to check. I like the idea of these, I just worry that they'd feel a little bit too mini-game-ish, if that makes any sense. Now this one's less a suggestion and more wondering if there's like a marine bias in the Rel C's team because of the way they're developing and the fact that I think both of the brothers are going to be marines. I'm not really sure. It's kind of an interesting discussion to have because normally marines are really underpowered and this might be the first game where they're actually done some some justice, <laughs> ironically. Uh, honestly, I'm not worried whether or not they're going to be overpowered. I think, you know, most people are going to make a marine anyways once they, you know, get tired of being a pirate. Uh, it's always nice to get a fresh start, that kind of thing. So, but um, either way, I think it'll be good. Oh, buddy, is the circus in town today? <laughs> so this is one of my mods, right? Ronok21. Now, he suggests gambling, right? But he doesn't just suggest gambling. He pings me constantly. He goes, Jibrian, please include this in the vid. Pretty please. And then he pings me again. This better be in the vid, Gibby. It got seven reactions. And then he messages our mod chat, pinging me, telling me to add it into the chat. You can see here I even call him up for mod abuse. And do you know the worst part? Someone else already suggested this. He's not even being original. Now comment below, should I take away his mod power? <laughs> All right, next we have a suggestion that had um, submarine like armor, I guess. I don't know how to describe it. Basically, if your sub isn't upgraded enough, your submarine, uh, when you dive too deep, it will implode and actually cave in and kill you, which would be terrifying. But uh, I kind of like this idea. We're not really sure how upgrading works or you know if you can even make them tougher, but I like the idea of having to upgrade your submarine and making it better slowly. It's another form of progression. Oh, and here's another suggestion involving submarines. This one's about the windows being able to break. Uh, I think this would be really cool. Imagine you're under attack and then your windows crack and water starts leaking in. I feel like it would add so much tension, especially like maybe it's just like the health bar on your submarine. So when the health gets lower on your sub, it, the windows start cracking just to show you. I think that would be really cool and make fights really intense against like sea creatures. I think part of what makes submarines so cool is just how many systems you can build on top of them. You know, like all these ideas that we're getting now. And next suggestion is real sea. Make real sea have ocean where water is and we can swim and there's probably going to be boats. I think this is a really good idea. I think it'd add a lot of depth to the game and you could really do a lot with it as a mechanic. So I'm all for this suggestion. And here's a suggestion saying hockey, Geppo, and Soru should be difficult to get. I absolutely agree with this. Every single other One Piece games makes you get them within an hour of playing. Like, I mean, unless it's like a bandit beater where it takes you a lot of hours. But you always end up getting them in C1 and then you just... You just have these like really high level skills early. They didn't even unlock hockey until like halfway through the show. You know what I mean? I totally agree. Like imagine if they're very difficult to get and then like you see someone using armament. Like that'd be scary. You know what I mean? Like especially if you're like earlier in the game and then someone just does an observation dodge. Like oh shit I shouldn't really fight them. Oh, and here we have another great suggestion. It says return the slab or suffer the mummy's curse. I absolutely agree with this one too. Honestly, some banger suggestions today. I think this one's really good too. Everyone should really heed the warning of the Pharaoh. <laughs> and the same person says we should be able to cook using hockey on our food. <laughs> uh, not all your ideas can be good, but 
I think it's pretty interesting that this guy used ChatGPT to help him come up with like traits and weapon ideas. Kind of a, a really weird use of AI that you wouldn't really think about outside of like being part of a Relsi's fan. But you know, this guy wants some dad skibbity toilet. Um, this guy wants a smaller inventory size limit to make chest, you know, boat storage more important. I do like this idea uh, as long as it's not annoying. Like they could make it really small and then you're just constantly running back to the ship. This guy has a cool suggestion about emotes that would show off your weapon or your abilities. I think this would be really interesting. They already kind of do this in Call of Duty when you inspect your gun. Uh, I think it'd be a good flex, like if you have a really rare sword or something like that. Oh, and this guy says the game should just never release, and that way when we die, we'll pass it on to our kids as a legend. Uh, this is pretty interesting. <laughs> just shut the hell up. Oh, and before I end the video, shout out to this guy, Abyss Twins. He went through like all the teasers and stuff and pulled out basically all the info we have confirmed. There's a lot of really interesting stuff in here, some stuff you might not have like noticed. So it's definitely worth checking out if you're looking for, you know, some stuff. That's about it for the video. To everyone else who wanted a shout out, um, no, no, you're not getting a shout out. Stop asking. <laughs> Uh, anyways, comment below anything else you want to discuss or any suggestions you have in the comments. As always, thanks for watching. I'll be back with another vid. Hopefully soon. I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, uh, see ya.